Hi, good afternoon. Good morning, guys. My name is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Okay, I have here the Dell Vostro 3405. The color is accent black. So th the reason why we are vlogging this unit is because we were selling this before around 34,000. Now it we dropped it to 30,000. Of course, it's a Ryzen 5 and everything. We'll check the specs later, but first open muna natin yung unit. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Once na in-open mo yung unit, magbubungad agad sa'yo yung charger niya. And then, ito, para may hugutan dito, para mahugot yung unit. And it comes with a manual. Alright, here you go. The unit itself, tabi na muna natin itong mga box na to. Charger is we got 2.31 amperes. That's 45 watts. Power cord. Ito so bili na lang kayo sa mga hardware. In case na wala kayong saksakan nito, pwede para masaksak nyo. Hindi ba tinatanggal to? But I strongly suggest bili na kayo na adapter. Alright. Here. Okay. It's color gray. But the box and the color is accent black. Baka ganito yung kulay ng accent black sa kanila. Pero sa ating mga Pilipino, it's literally, it's gray. So it's made out of plastic and um, ayun, may brush stroke dito. It's very simple. It's actually professional look pala. It's professional look because mostly kasi ang Dell nakilala sa mga day supply, most of corporate offices. Meron din mga ibang brand pero doon natin nagsimula ang Dell sa mga pagsusupply ng mga computer, desktop, mga system sa mga corporate. And then they go to consumers, katulad us. They go to na, mga gaming, which is the Alienware. But now, let's just talk about this Dell Vostro 14 3000 series. Check the ports. We have um, the power. HDMI, uh, the LAN, and two USB 3.0, and an audio combo jack. On the other side, we got SD card and a USB 2.0 Kingston lock. We got the speakers here, the left and the right, and the fan intake. Dito po pasok and dito lumalabas. You see the logo of the Vostro sa ilalim, ayan. And Indel naman yung sa harap. Okay, so um, may kita mo dito, may sticker dito na 14-inch full HD display, HD webcam, narrow borders. Yes, it's a narrow borders. HDMI, SD card reader. And dito sa kabilang sticker, we have here the Pro Support Service. So we're gonna talk about the Dell Warranty Service. And we got here the Radeon Graphics. AMD and AMD Ryzen 5 as a processor. Okay, let's talk about the dimension of this unit. We got the width that is 32.8 centimeters for the depth that is 23.9 centimeters while the height this is 0.7 centimeters. For the weight of this unit it's 1.5 kilograms or 1.59 kilograms. If you need an assistant screen reader, press the windows and enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. By the way guys, once you open this unit, ito yung startup niya. Um, si Cortana. Introduce ni Cortana yung sarili niya sa inyo. And this is actually a voice prompt. So pwedeng hindi mo na lang i-click. Pwedeng kausapin mo na lang si Cortana. So let's try. Yes. Diba? Your keyboard is set to United States International. Want to stick with that? Yes. Wow, well, voice Do you prompt, also type with another keyboard layout? No. No. Continue with limited setup. Wow, well, voice prompt. Touchless. Um, a normal thing that every time that you open a new laptop, there will be a setup page. It will ask you the your location, your time zone, your keyboard settings, and you know, blah blah blah. Those settings naman maano nyo sa control panel. But now we are since nagmamadali tayo, setup na natin sa pinakamabilis. Okay, we just accept, accept, accept. Yan. Yes, 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 accept, accept. 
Okay, let's talk about the specifications of this unit. So, it's an AMD Ryzen 5-3500U. It comes with 4 cores and 8 threads. Base boost is 2.1 GHz while the turbo boost is 3.7 GHz. The current memory installed here is 4 GB, that is 2400 MHz. I check natin later kung pwede upgrade yung unit na to o hindi. The storage uh, right now is 256 SSD, that is a uh, solid state drive. The resolution of the unit is 14 inch, that is full HD, that's 1920 by 1080. The integrated video card is that's a region Vega 8 graphics. So, ita try din natin to like sa mga Dota to or PUBG kung kaya niya or hindi. And of course the other application, katulad na AutoCAD or for 3D rendering. Done the typing test here. I actually scored 38 words per minute. Bak na di bago lang ako dito sa laptop kasi I mostly use 15 inch laptop. I tried to test twice. My first result was 31 and then my second was 38 words per minute. Baka kayo, uh, masanay kayo a 14 inch and you might do better on it because in my previous vlog I was able to do 45 51 mas lalo dun sa personal laptop ko now let's talk about the camera of this unit check the settings Medyo okay naman well same like the other camera that's 0.9 MP 720p and 60 Hertz mas matasi Hertz nito yung camera nito kasi mga previous na ginamit ko is medyo bluish show I don't know but you know ginagamit naman natin tong camera na to is mostly for video conference or kung may video call tayo. By the way, you can only tilt this laptop hanggang dito. So, same as regular laptops. Meron kasi mga laptop na pwede hanggang dulo eh. Let's try the sounds of this unit. Let's see kung malakas ba to and or kung okay yung sound quality niya. So, same like the others. Okay yung sound quality niya. Okay yung, okay yung sounds niya. You don't need an extra speaker para lang magpaano na nga dito. Now, you might ask if we could use this on playing games like Dota 2 or Valorant and then kung pwede sa Photoshop ba to or pwede pang AutoCAD or 3D rendering. Well, actually, yes. The laptop is running a region Vega 8 graphics and you can actually play Dota 2 here at a very low setting. Sa very low settings, you might, uh, you will run around mga 80 FPS. While on PUBG, at the settings at a very low settings, it will run around mga 20 to 30 FPS. You can play games, yes, but uh, I would not recommend you to put it on the ultra settings or in the high settings. Kasi it's just an integrated graphics. Not like on the previous vlog na talagang mga gaming laptop talaga yung inano namin. For Photoshop, yes, you can definitely use this for photo editing. And for the video editing, you can do minimal video editing on this one. Now, if you're doing like 3D rendering na medyo matachallenge yung laptop, I would suggest you to upgrade the memory of the laptop. And speaking about memory upgrade, let's call our technician para ma-check yung ilalim ng laptop na to kung ano pa yung mga pwedeng i-upgrade dito sa laptop na ito. Thank you sa technician natin. So, in-open niya yung chassis. Here's what's underneath the chassis. We got here two memory slots. So currently, an akabit is 4 gig. So you can max out up to 32 gig, 16, 16. Okay? There is one fan here. And the processor is actually here. There's a heat sink. Air intake here. Dito naga out. Ang SD card niya, 256. Dito nakakabit. And meron siyang extra slot for an HDD. So pwede mo lagyan ng 1 tera or 2 tera HDD dito. And the battery is here. We got here some Wi-Fi card. Look, <laughs> medyo may masking tape ng del dito. Oh. Uh, by the way, guys, you cannot do this at your home by just removing everything and upgrading because it will void your warranty. Okay? So if you want to upgrade this unit, you need to contact them. So thank you. Pakabit na ulit natin to. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Uh, Chinek natin chassis ng unit. Now, let's talk about the pros and the cons of this unit. Actually, yung pros niya is a Ryzen 5. Ryzen 5 is parang i5 eh. But, of course, ang Ryzen series ay mas mura compared sa mga Intel i5. But it's still your discretion, of course. Walang bias dito na that I'm saying that go for the Ryzen 5. Kasi may mga customers na gusto ang i5 at meron din gusto ang Ryzen 5. 
five. The cons that I'm seeing here in this unit, ngayon, medyo nakikita ko yung mga thumb mark ko, yung mga fingerprints ko dito. Well, I'm just using it just now, just today. Pero ano naman, I think nadada na sa punas yung mga fingerprints dito. At then, isang cons na nakikita ko dito, it's only 4GB by default. However, na-upgrade naman yung memory. Nakita nyo naman na uh, you can upgrade it up to 32GB and you can also put additional HDD slot on this unit. And one of the pros na nakita ko dito sa Dell, it comes with the Pro Support Service. This one. Ang may statement dito, we bring the fix right at your doorstep. Ibig sabihin, you don't need to go to any service center. Si Dell mismo pupunta sa bahay nyo. You just contact Dell, nasasabihin nyo na sira yung laptop nyo, and sila mismo pupunta. Last time, may pumuntang Dell service center sa amin. Tinanong pa mismo ni Dell if we need a swab test result yung mga ganon. Kasi, of course, during this time of pandemic, medyo takot din tayo na makipaghalubilo sa ibang tao. This technician na pupunta sa inyo, magpapakita ng proof that they are clear for COVID. Now, if in case that you are not comfortable, adi pwede naman sila kwari sa harap ng bahay nyo or sa sala nyo, ganyan, ayusin lang yung laptop, and then after fix the laptop, yan, uuwi na sila, di ba? You don't need to go to their service center. Sila, pupunta sa inyo. Okay? If you're not comfortable on that, in case na ayaw nyo sila pumunta sa bahay nyo, pwede nyo rin dalhin sa amin, kami magpapadala sa service center. But, tingin ko, pag dinala nyo yung unit sa amin, si Del din ang pupunta sa store namin para i-repair yung laptop nyo. It comes with a one-week replacement warranty. Anything happen within the week, papalta na ganda namin yan. However, after 3 to 6 months, in case that there's a problem, si Del pupunta sa inyo. The warranty duration is 1 year. The price of this unit, we were selling this before 34,000. The SRP is 35,000, but we dropped it to 30,000. With the limited stocks, come to think of it, Ryzen 5, 4 gig, SSD, 14 in full HD for a price of 30,000. There you have it. So in case that you got any comments or suggestion, feel free to type below. And by the way, please like and subscribe our page para in case may mga bagong units kami na i-unbox, you will be notified. Again, this is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Have a good day. Bye-bye.